The first commercial flight took place just over 100 years ago. In the time since, civil aviation has evolved into a complex system that connects people and business the world over and contributes billions to worldwide GDP. Our region, Asia Pacific, which includes the Middle East, um, covers a wide geographical area um, with very diverse cultures, potentials and, of course, economies. And some of the fastest growing economies, as well as the least developed ones, can be found here in Asia Pacific. Um, now, despite these differences, airports worldwide uh, face very similar challenges, uh, such as security threat, um, health pandemic, um, environmental impact, uh, financial challenges. So ACI is working hand in hand with our members to tackle these uh, challenges. Statistics from the Air Transport Action Group, of which ACI is funding member, point to air transport in Africa directly generating an estimated 428,000 jobs. Another 45,000 people, or 11% of the total work for air, airport operators. 222,000 of these jobs, or 52%, were on site in airport at retail outlets, restaurants, hotels, and so on. Airports in Europe have come a long way since uh, 1991. The liberalization of aviation, the privatization and corporatization of airports means that the rules of the game are completely different today. Airports have gone from being mere infrastructure providers to being dynamic businesses in their own right. And supporting our members in that process has been a key priority for ACI Europe. Son muchos los retos y oportunidades que aún tenemos por delante. El crecimiento del tráfico de pasajeros y la demanda por más infraestructuras encabeza la lista de prioridades. A ello debemos sumar el desarrollo de iniciativas que promuevan operaciones más sostenibles con el ambiente y mejoras a la experiencia del pasajero. La colaboración con nuestras asociaciones, colegas, autoridades y estados es la clave para que como industria sigamos construyendo un sistema de transporte aéreo que promueva el crecimiento económico de nuestras comunidades. We work with our members every day to develop solutions that turn short-term challenges into long-term opportunities. But North American airports are not alone in their efforts to solve the significant challenges facing modern airport industry. It's my view that the real benefit to be able to reach out to your international colleagues for assistance, whether overcoming air service, operational, security, environmental, customer service, or financial challenges, or any other issue facing an airport, we're able to offer a direct connection to airport peers from around the world. It's a wonderful industry, and I think it'll go from strength to strength. With more cross-pollination, more people will leave the airports industry and go to other industries, and other industries will come in. So greater use of innovation, greater use of technology, um, a bigger and, and, and sharper focus on, on our, our customers, be they airlines or passengers. The future is bright. In our next quarter century, we look forward to continuing our efforts to safeguard the interests of the traveling public. In short, ACI will take a leading role every step of the way, speaking with one voice, the voice of the world's airports.